we instantly loathed each other. It was obvious from the start that Zen packs to converge with my coat of many colors, lower class upbringing, prominent cranial crowd. Probably lower class upbringing. Come to Buddy Colors. Are you are you quoting a song or something? Is this supposed to be a uh, reference to Technicolor Dreamcoat? Um, I huh? Come to Buddy Colors. Are you are you quoting a song or something? Could be. I don't know what that one. More than any of the uh, Zincal faculty, Professor Zinlo informed me, uh, formed my later days. I remember clearly, it was just two weeks into my first year when Zinlo pulled me inside after class and said to me, Zinyak, you are natural born leader. Zinyak, these people are all your inferiors. Zinyak, never let anything or anyone stop you from pursuing your dream. Emma's mostly cut off on that one. Your dreams. Ah, cool. They actually added fucking scrolling. Probably the first one? It's actually the last one, apparently, is the right one. Weird. Does it end in, and so I cut off his head? No. Oh. No. To gain his point. power. Has anyone ever told you that before? What a remarkable thing to say to a f uh, formative lad, and he was right. I, as the poor son of an ignorant butcher, had made it to the finest university on the planet. I wasn't just pursuing my dreams, I was living one. And here I am, trying to do video game parkour. But text adventures. Uh, adventures. Upon receiving my diploma, I knew exactly what I must do. Kill Zenfax, enter military service, kill Zenfax, and then enter military service. Well, it's that last one, obviously. <laughs> kill Zenfax. Rather short-sighted, don't you think? Yeah, sure. Enter uh, military service? Ah, uh, before I settle some unfinished business. Certainly. That's uh, interesting imagery. Mm -hmm. Snapped Zinfax's neck like old bark flaking off a dying oak. Nice. Ah, I almost made it on those boxes. <laughs> Having fun with the uh, parkour? A little bit. I'm on the uh, military one. I did it. So some did not survive the training and were sent off to work in the mines or forced to join the Zen National Orchestra, famous across seven galaxies for how hideous their music is. In order to endure the training, I often relied upon the thoughts of my childhood, a more innocent time in my life, my iron will and drive to do whatever I must do excel, a manufactured hatred of the enemy. Oh, it's actually the last one. Didn't think it was going to be that one. After basic, I entered service and was sent to the front line of the great war that was brewing on planet Bedard. There I led the charge against the great Bedardian commander, Franscott. Using my innately keen insight, I surprised Franscott by 
murdering his soldiers and putting their heads on pikes, sneaking into his base under the cover of darkness, playing selections from the Zen National Orchestra at high volume. Yes, that one. Wow. The text I, it, for that one is just, nobody deserves that. <laughs> it's a war crime. Sneaking? Wait, that was a, oh, okay. I thought it would be the bike one, but okay. Recognition breeds contempt, though, and I've made many enemies throughout my military career, but perhaps none more scathing, more heartbreaking than Zenfob. <clears throat> the Brutus to my Caesar. Zenfob served with me well against the Bedar uh, Bedardian army, but his pride got the best of him when he questioned my authority in front of my uh, in front of the troops, questioned my character, questioned my readiness to command. First one? Yeah. Not even Zimba was foolish enough to do that, apparently. Uh, Richard Marbury is to command? Yeah, that was the right one. Jesus Christ, Zediac. <laughs> Fucking getting ac uh, accused by Zenfob about not being good at leading. They had a tri uh, mock tribunal. And then afterwards, he fucking hunt his accuser down and killed him where he stood. So Zenfob is dead. Well, I mean, to be fair, Zenyak just kind of tends to kill everyone in his wake. Uh, that's right. Did you crash? Yep. A text adventure. Well. Let's see, after many more successful terrestrial campaigns against our foes, the official saw fit to give him my own ship, promote me to emperor, uh, erect statues in my honor. During the brief period of game not running, you decide. Have your own text adventure. Do they uh, still make text adventure books? Um, I have no idea. I haven't seen one of those since I was like 10. Maybe 12. Yeah, I guess I've seen one either. At least we saved. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when you crash, I get to save, so. Alright, back in the game. I mean, if you're just gonna keep doing text adventures for a while, I can just sit back here, so. Well, I, I think I'm like halfway done with the text adventures. At least the uh, non Christmas ones.
All right, back to where I was. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the first one, giving me my own ship. So, uh, promoted emperor. One does not get promoted to emperor. I appreciate your zeal, but let's not jump ahead for uh, wreck statues of my honor. But you gotta wreck them for me to destroy them. There's such a shape it for it's a yak. Give me my own ship. Indeed, no longer was I a simple passenger on our interplanetary death vessels. I now had my hand firm upon the rudder. Metaphorically speaking, of course, interplanetary death vessels are steered by complicated navigation systems. Of course they are. <laughs> now a celebrated member of the Zen Army with a seasoned crew at my command, I blew up planet Zen and never looked back. Through a gala in my own honor, headed out toward adventure. Guessing last one, but I'm gonna pick the first one because why not? Zen may not be the most cultured celestial body, but it's still my home. Got a disappointment with that. I do not have to throw galas in my own honor, thank you. I am not a soul easily satisfied, so I knew my dream destination must be a planet that could challenge not the collective might of the Zen army, but my own fragile ego. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again and I'll kill you. <laughs> Just keep selecting it. Nothing's happening. Oh, I'm actually a little disappointed about that. Um, I'm political acumen, as if I think good, or my tactical instinct. Are the text adventures going to end with the invasion of Earth? Uh, I mean, kind of, possibly. Kind of feels like that's where it's being led to. What, what, uh, 1v1 would a Bishop Crookzug pick against Zenyak? A board game? A duel of swords? Arm wrestling. Arm wrestling? That was actually the right one. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> huh. I thought that was just gonna be, like, no, that was the Zen. Little did I know that the cephalopodian anatomy of the jet yang, or the name of the race, uh, combined with the curved surfaces that pass as tables, allowed them great leverage at this sport. Oh, ho, oh, how clever Quirkzug was, luring me into a trap that played upon my own prejudices. Well done. Well done indeed. As it turns out, the winner of that match was me, Quirkzug. Wait, what? 
change it. Qu Quirk Zerg, because the name got changed. Uh, and it was a draw. Uh, Quirk Zerg? Oh. Zoidberg? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yes, yes. Quirk Zerg used his an uh, anatomical advantage to best me at that infantile test of strength. After shooting him through his enormous eye, I congratulated his corpse on a job well done. Apparently he rubs his tongue for luck. Not the weirdest thing people have done for luck. Yeah, I suppose so. Still pretty fucking weird, though. Possessing astute foresight as I do, coupled with my at times all consuming need for control, I knew that before I set out to do anything more, I must find a second in command, acquire more ships, get some decent food on board. That one's always a good option. Do you honestly think I would have traveled all the way to the Jet Yang Quadrant without bringing the finest chefs in the universe with me? Ooh, disappointed. Uh, I don't know, find second to command? Oh, huh, that was the right one. Zinjai is apparently a other name of person in the Zen army. What was that? Zinjai. Yeah, that was his handmaid. We saw him. Yeah. Really, he was supposed to be second in command. That's depressing. Yeah. Uh, but as is customary to prove one's successor's worth, I first administered a, sc a scholastic aptitude test. Ritual beatings, a quiz to determine his understanding of basic etiquette. Ritual beatings! Those were already part of our daily routine. I saw no need to beat a dead horse. Do you see what I did there? I made a pun. It was a very good one, too. Oh, does it actually say yes. that? Yes, it does. God damn it. Uh, quiz? Oh. Wow, wait, really? I was not about to appoint someone as my military surrogate and manservant who was unable to appreciate propri uh, propriety and tradition. I knew that if anyone were to even attempt to fill my proverbial boots, that they had to be able to do so in any conceivable situation. So it was I instructed... What brain? What are you reading here? Sentence? What are you? What are you? So it was I constructed a battery of examinations designed to test his etiquette across all manner of occasion. That just feels wrong of a sentence. Uh, they really were brilliant, if I do say so myself. I am proud to state that Zinjai uh, passed every test in spectacular fashion, though we did almost have an incident when... We were attacked prior to the dinner course of a fine meal. Zinjai's brother died during an examination on proper cross-cultural ratings. A rabid Zinpei got loose upon the ship during a rousing debate on intergalactic politicking. I'm not sure on that one which one's the actual right one. I don't know either. That's just phrased weird. Uh, first one? First one was apparently the right one. Attacked prior to the dinner course of a fine meal. Alright. I beheaded Ariel the Furious, a, uh, Boonian. 
Or is that really name of another race I'm imagining? Uh, I beheaded the Ariel the Furious with the bread knife and threw his remains into the onboard incinerator. And then they proceeded to eat them, apparently. Because he made steaks out of them. Or his finest chefs made steaks out of them. Delicious. This testing over, I formally named a Zinjai as my lieutenant slash servant, and we continued our trek into deep space. Per my grand plan, I set about culling the universe of its weakest cultures first, starting with the Kjordnerfer tribes of central Alspazia. Fuck if I know. Uh, the Good Spray Alliance, or the people of Earth. Earth has arrived. First one? Oh shit, that was actually the right one. Huh. Alright, Zinac, what is your defining moment? It's the last uh, text adventure. Yeah. Then, like an evolutionary link crawling from the depths of a primordial soup, it hit me. I had taken so many lives. For what purpose? Conquering was not enough. I needed to test them. To challenge them. To collect them. It was then I decided to build a museum dedicated to the greatest cultures of the universe. A petting zoo. The simulation. A petting zoo. I considered it, but ultimately opted for something else. Aww. Museum? In its own way, I suppose it is, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. Museum dedicated to... Simulation, museum... Yeah, I can see it. 